Hi, I'm Steve Green. Pot Cozy is a great way to save fuel. Let's go ahead and make one now. Here's what you need to make it. Some Reflectix insulation. This is 16 inches by 25 feet for about $13.50 that I got at Lowe's. Some Reflectix metal tape because duct tape will melt, it won't work. The Reflectix tape is 2 inches by 30 feet for about $3.50 at Lowe's. A metal straight edge such as this metal ruler or T-square. A felt tip marker, scissors or an X-Acto knife, and of course your cooking pot. The first thing you want to do is measure the height of your pot. I'm going to make this a little bit higher to leave room for the base and the top. I've already measured out how far it's going to be down here and made a mark in the approximate ending spot, leaving a little extra. And a soft uh, tailor's tape would work good for measuring around this too, of course. Next we're going to take the metal tape and put our two sides together, uh, taping uh, inside and outside. You can cut it just a touch loose so that the uh, bale fits inside, or you can cut notches for it. I'm going to cut small notches. I'm going to cut the base piece with an X-Acto knife now. With the bottom cut out and now put in place, we're going to secure it with some of the uh, metal tape. So here's the cozy with the bale cutouts, and you can do the lid at least three different ways. Here the first way I've done it is to put it right within the cook set lid and put a little handle on it with the tape. And if you want to do a double, that doubles the bottom. This doubles the side. And this doubles the top. Of course, if you didn't have a bale, it would be more thermally efficient if you made a whole top that slid down in one piece. You could make it a partial or even a full by sliding that top, that double top down all the way. And there was another YouTube video of a gentleman that did a double and it had an insanely good heat retention rate. 
with the tape doubled on top. The total weight of the Cozy even doubled is only one and a half ounces. You can also make insulating items out of closed cell foam such as old 3 8 inch closed cell foam sleeping pads. I made this foil pouch for foil dinners. It's about nine inches by nine inches and added these Velcro tabs. They're about two dollars and thirty nine cents for the Velcro and uh, it's about an ounce and a quarter. I'd recommend doing it a little bigger about uh, 10 inches by 10 inches or 11 by 11. A 12 inch by 12 inch piece of the insulation for a sit pad weighs just 8 tenths of an ounce. The 16 inch by 25 foot roll of insulation weighs just 1 pound 12 ounces or 28 ounces. It's interesting that one fourth of it or 6 foot 3 inches by 16 inches would weigh 7 ounces. That's something to consider for hammock campers. If you can't find this material, a lot of times you can make cozies out of the solar windshield reflectors and sometimes you can even find them at the dollar store. I didn't find anything at the dollar store like that today, but I did find this for only three ounces a thermal bag. Most of the three ounces is here in the plastic. It's plastic inside, more of a reflective material for the outside. Only one dollar. Also at the Dollar Tree I found this little item. It looks like a lunch carrying bag, which it is. It's also thermal. So uh, quite a little item for only one dollar and one ounce. Enjoy making your pot cozy. I hope this video is helpful. Hike light and have more fun. See over 30 more videos and a free ultralight backpacking book at hikelight.com.